Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La, La Land. We are so excited to welcome the show two time Emmy nominated actress, Lee Purcell. Thank you so much for being with us. It's my great pleasure. Thank you, Jocelyn. We have been so honored to be a part of her journey, witness the incredible accolades and credit after credit after credit <laughs> on Thanks. IMDb. Uh, tell Thank us you. about your new project with Joey Tavalta, by the way. It's pretty exciting. It is a groundbreaking film. It's, it's very unusual. It's, um, it's about a young man who was adopted out at birth, and he goes in search of his birth parents. And when he finds his birth mother, <coughs> excuse me, she has a disability, and that just turns his world upside down. And he, he's not happy about this. And the actress who plays his mother actually does have a disability. So it's very authentic and, and quite forward thinking. Mm. So uh, we were very happy about that. And on our film, Joey Travolta, who is John's brother, um, has a school and a film company called Inclusion Films, and which was started about around 2006. And he teaches uh, people with various forms of disabilities how to work on film crews. Wow. That is so Ooh. cool. So inspiring. It's really so inspiring. And, and so what they get is they get a career and they get financial independence, and they get incredible self-worth. Because some of these people are people who have been told, you're never going to be any more than you are right now. You will be living in a home. You will be uh, dependent upon the state. Not anymore. Nice. Yeah, it's really wonderful. So on our film, which is the first feature film to come out of Joey's program, uh, they had done shorts and so forth before and documentaries, but this is the first feature film with a Hollywood cast. Uh, we had 70% of our crew had disabilities. Wow. 70%. Mm. So it was very uh, inspiring. And, but when you walk on the set in the morning, you'd never know who had the disability and who mm, didn't. Interesting. Unless it was an obvious, of course, physical disability, sure. right? But you talk about professionals. I mean, these young people are so well trained. They're so good at what they do, and they're so happy to be there. Well, talk about professionals. You light up the screen. Let's Thanks. take a look. <laughs> I was so convinced I was doing the right thing back then. Yeah, well, we can't change the past as much as I would like to. What matters is what you do now. I honestly don't know what to do. Oh, that's easy. You help Carol, your daughter, reunite with her son. How? Call him. Invite him over for dinner, here. Make it for tomorrow. I'll take her back to the center and help her get ready. Will you join us? Yes, I would love to. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the best relationship. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a lot. Right? Yeah. Tell us yeah. a little bit more about your role there. Well, um, it's a very different role for me. It, I, I had really not done a role like this before. She's a kind of a very self-contained woman. And she's, um, she's a caregiver. She's, she's uh, the companion, the best friend to Carol, Carol of the Bells, who plays the title role, is the title role. And um, she's the actress who has the disability. And, um, and I have a secret, a very big secret. And which I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to watch. <laughs> That's yes. why you got to see the film, right? right? But it, it was a very unique role for me because it was um, it was so inner and so self-contained and um, such a she's kind of a rigid uh, woman, yeah. and there's a reason that and you see you see that you see the reason. Yeah. How does playing a role like that affect your life? Is it is it hard at some point to sort of separate the two, the role on screen and the real life and does, I imagine, does the role on screen affect and inform the way in which you live your life in a different way? Well, or not so much. Yes and no, because this this particular um, film it was was so inspirational for me, um, as I had mentioned. And when I read the script, and then they sent me 
a video of uh, Joey. Well, you can see it. It's on inclusionfilms.com. A video of Joey's program and, and so forth. And it was like, well, of course. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, how can I yeah. not Say no do to that? Right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, I got to do that role. So, um, so in, it affected me in that, like I said, I'd never really done a role like this before. And I had never really had a lot of experience except for volunteer work and charity work and with Special Olympics and, and wonderful organizations like that, right? But never like 12 hours a day. Um, and, I, and I was concerned because I didn't know anything about that world. So I did quite a lot of research into how do people work, how do caregivers work with people who have disabilities. And then I was astonished at the huge list of the different types of disabilities. And that was a real eye-opener for me. I mean, I have several friends who have <coughs> autistic children, but, you know, it's, it's, they're not my kids, even though I've been around them as they've been growing up. So this was different. It was, so it did, a, to, a very long answer yeah. to your question. So it did affect me in that it taught me a lot. I learned a lot about that world. And, and I learned that people who have disabilities, they are outwardly different from us, inwardly they are not. And that was so um, awe-inspiring to me, and it was a, a real lesson. Love that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Tell us a little bit, Lee, about your journey into Hollywood. When did you know you wanted to pursue a career in the arts? Well, it was kind of one of those things where um, I just kind of was born doing. You were born that way? <laughs> <laughs> just accepted. <laughs> just, yeah, I couldn't fight it. You woke up like that. <laughs> My yeah. parents fought it. I didn't fight it. But um, I, when I was three, I was a child model for Neiman Marcus because we were living in Dallas. We moved a lot. And then when I was five, we were living in uh, Millington, uh, Millington Naval Base, uh, military family. And there was a, t a TV show there, and it was a very corny <laughs> talent show. Our people used to call it variety show, right? Where mm -hmm. people would come on and do different things. And so I performed on that the first time when I was five, and the last time when I was 13. So I had a long, a long history with them. But it was like, if you can do that, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Because I would call them up and say, oh, I have an idea for a dance, and they're like, you're seven. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like seven. But I yeah. still have an idea yeah. for a dance. And yeah. they say, okay, come on over and do it. So they let me wow. do that. And I did that, like I said, until I was 13. And then I started traveling with a, um, a, a troupe. And I was the resident dancer. I was also the singer. I was also <laughs> <laughs> you also high from a young age. <laughs> yes. Also did a lot of things, right? And um, so that was great. And then uh, left home three days after high school graduation and and never looked back. Wow. So. If there was one role that you could play moving forward, just think outside the box, there were no rules, no nothing, what would that one role be that you'd like to try that wow. you've never done? Uh, Lady Macbeth. Mm. I've done Macbeth, but I did, uh, the, I've done The Witches. There's three witches. Yeah. And I've done a couple of those. Lady Macbeth would probably be, gosh, I'd also like to play, well, I have played politicians. Um, I've also played. Or if there's even when you can just create, like just. Yeah, you know, or just like create. Play, yeah, just I'd like to be. I'd like to play a mob boss. Oh, <laughs> I can see that. That'd be great. I'd love to play like the Irish, obviously. I'm not going to play Italian, right? Unless they dye my hair, which I can do. But I'd like to play an Irish mob boss who, like, she didn't take over after her husband died. She is the mob boss. Ooh, mm, I that's love that. Good. Isn't that good? That's a script right there. <laughs> I, yeah, I might write that because I'm also a writer. I might write that. You should. <laughs> you should. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Thank you so much for great. being with us today. Oh, it's and my great sharing pleasure. your journey. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow you and, of course, see the film. Of course. Um, I have uh, my website, leepurcell.com. Easy to remember. Um, also, uh, Twitter, also Instagram, also Facebook, and the film will be out sometime around the holidays because it has a Christmas theme to it as well. Oh, we're so excited. Carol of the Bells. Oh, thank you so much. Station, we'll be back with more you. in the morning while I'll end.